It is November 2023 and this video updates our progress on our meadow restoration project in Stobbs. I bought 11 species rich hay from a friend near Ashford in the summer. Orchids and other special plants that we do not have the farm were in the hay. We also placed around this field some bales from our own species rich meadow and one that belongs to one of my brothers who has yellow rattle and such like in his field. The time came to start to feed it out and on the 30th of October 31 cows with heifers and calves at foot and a bull moved into an electric fenced off section with the bale rolls rolled out. The field was still very dry after a long dry spell, the field having last been grazed by sheep in the early spring and there was a good firm bed of pasture to withhold them over all the short periods should it get wetter. So we were aiming to do daily moves and each time spreading the hay with the bale on roller and moving the cows on when the ground was well eaten, trampled and dunged on. Needless to say, it then got wet and it did not stop raining for the entire time the cattle were on the field. Here you can see a day where we let them in stay in just too long, but I'm pretty sure that will recover as well as the rest. You can just see the bales lined up on the top of the hill. This is the very last day in this field, just 15 days in total due to the land, ground conditions. Had it rained, had it stayed dry, we'd not have moved them on so fast, but it was a matter of balancing the spread of the seed, trampling, with the ground getting too divoted. This is the last little section which will remain ungrazed with a few unused bales. We did think of putting them in the barn until the rain stopped, but I was keen to press on in, in order to allow a long winter's rest with plenty of opportunity for recovery. And at the moment, the plan is to put in the sheep over the spring to nibble and trample any remaining seed and effectively even out the divots.